Hello, and today we are going to go over how to search through our databases. So if you're at home, wherever you may be, I want you to go to lonestar.edu, and you'll see that right here up at the top, lonestar.edu. From here, you don't need to log into D2L, you don't need to do anything. The only thing you need to do is right up here where it says libraries, I want you to go ahead and click on that. Now there are a few things about this page. So the first thing is if you ever wanna search for a book, um, whether it's in Montgomery County, Lone Star, or any Harris County Public Library, or even eBooks, you can search and put them on hold here. If you want help with research, dive further into certain subjects. Research right here will take you to all the databases listed by subject, including citation help. Here, with your plus more, this is a way that you can look at different documents, get an interlibrary loan. Um, if you want student help, you can click on students. And if you click on library services, it will show you something like this. So you have your citation help. We have research guides that will help you with certain classes. This is where you see the databases. And of course, here is where you can go to search for books. If you are at home and you need any help in finding articles, journals, books, newspapers, videos, whatever it may be, right here on the side, you'll see that it says to chat with a librarian. This is a live person on the other side. It is not a chat bot. So you can go to here and you can type in your question and a librarian on the other end from one of our campuses will help you navigate whatever it is that you may need to find. Now, the big important thing is this search box right here. So you can use this search box to search any keyword or key phrase. Now, what I mean by keyword and key phrase is you taking, for example, your research question, and it may be something along the lines of how social media impacts mental health, whether it be negatively or positively. So the keywords that I'm going to pull from that are social media and mental health. So I put an and in the middle of these two phrases, key phrases, because I want the database to know I'm searching for both of these. So I want articles that have both of these phrases in it. So from here, I'm just going to click search. So this is really great. When you're at home, this is what's going to pop up. So you can either use your My Lone Star login. That's just going to be your My Lone Star email and password as if you're logging into D2L. Or you can use your library barcode. Your library barcode is located on the back of your student ID. I'm going to go ahead and just use My Lone Star login. This is me. And it's, of course, loading my results. So the first thing that I'm going to see is, wow, okay, so we have over 2 million results. Right up here under all filters, before I even search through everything that it gave me, I'm going to go to all filters. And I'm going to double check. Okay, it's automatically on full text. That means that it'll give you the entire text of the article or whatever it may be. But what I'm going to do is look at my published date. So I'm looking at social media and mental health. Anything that has to do with medicine or psychology, science, we like to keep that within the past five years. So I'm going to apply that and we'll see how much it narrows it down. Fantastic. It took away almost a million results for us. Let's go back to that all filters. And what I'm also going to do is filter by language because a lot of the time you may have, as you can see here, we have 11,000 articles that are in Spanish, 5,000 in Portuguese. We have a lot of them that are in different languages. So I want to make sure mine is in English. 
The other thing is that I want to limit it by source type. So in most of your classes, you're going to be required to find some form of an academic journal. So I'm going to automatically narrow it down to academic journals. And maybe in this class, my professor has allowed me to use news resources. So as you can see, there's 550,000 of those, 366,000 of your academic journals. I'm going to hit apply. And it dropped it down even more to only 87,000 results. Now that's a smaller number compared to the 2 million that we originally had. So the first thing is you're going to have a featured result. So the cool thing about Credo is that this is a reference guide. It normally comes from some form of dictionary or some form of reference media. And more, most of the time when we think of reference, we are. We're thinking of dictionaries, um, indexes, those types of things. So you are more than welcome to use this because it is one of our databases and it will give you an overview of social media and it looks like what social media is and its mental health impacts. So as you scroll down, you'll see right here, explore recommendations based on this result. I'm just gonna press got it. So what that means is as I'm scrolling down, and oh right here first it's commentary second i really like this title you can always click on more like this and it'll produce results that are based off of smartphones social media teenagers and mental health so this kind of helps you narrow down what you're trying to search for so Right here, as you just saw, I kind of just picked up that, okay, this is a commentary. Under here, this shows, okay, this is a journal article or an academic journal. And right here, here's another one, peer-reviewed journal article, academic journal. Now I'm going to read the title. What methods are used to examine representation of mental ill health on social media? So now... I kind of like this. I'm looking at the subjects. I see that it has to deal with mental health, social media, published by psychology. So what we're gonna do is right here, you have access options. When you click on access options, it'll give you multiple results. So this one's giving me a full text finder. We're gonna click on that. So right here, you're always going to choose this first one. So this one is telling me I can find this article from health and medical collection that we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And then once again, I'm gonna authenticate that I'm a student or in this case, I'm a professor. And once you get here, it's gonna give you your result. So the first thing that I wanna point out it's right here is an abstract. An abstract is a summary of the entire article itself. So before you go through and you read all 13 pages, I want you to read the abstract first and even see if this is what you need. So the cool thing about our databases is they all work the same way. So you'll always have somewhere where you can download the article. And I always suggest downloading a PDF because in your, um, I lost the word, in your citations, most of the time you need page numbers and a PDF will always give you page numbers. Speaking of citations, all of our databases have a cite function. If you click on cite, you'll notice APA, it gave me the APA citation. Most of you will be doing at this point in time, MLA 9th edition. And voila, your work though is to make sure that this is in MLA cited citations. It may not be correct. Not all of them are 100%, but it's a start for you. Always make sure though, when you copy and paste, you copy and paste it in the correct format. So double spaced, hanging indent, Times New Roman, 12 font. Okay, so now that we've seen this, I'm going to click out of it. 
and we don't need this anymore. I'm going to click out of that. And this will always stay open depending on your access options. Now, if you have any questions, if you're confused about, okay, what am I doing here? What you can do is we also have your library chat right here. So you'll type in your name, your email, and your question, and you'll start a chat with a library. So we have it on this page, and of course we have it within our databases. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to any of us. Um, and of course, post questions, come to the learning commons, whatever it is that you need, you're more than welcome to either do it online or in person. We have all of the avenues that you can take for either one of those. I hope that this helped in furthering your research, and I hope that you have a great day.